What is health to you? Is it simply the absence of disease or something more? Health as we understand it is not merely about being disease-free. It's a holistic state of well-being, a complex interplay of various elements. Disease, for instance, refers to abnormal, medically defined changes in the structure or function of the human body. Illness, on the other hand, is the individual's subjective perception of a lack of physical or mental well-being, which disrupts their ability to function normally in social roles. Impairment describes any loss or abnormality of psychological, physiological or anatomical structure or function. Disability meanwhile is any restriction or lack of ability to perform an activity within the range considered normal for a human being. Handicap is the disadvantage arising due to impairment and disability, altering an individual's relationship with their physical and social environment. And then we have health equity and health equality, two concepts that delve into the social aspects of health. The definition of health is not as straightforward as it might seem, is it? It's a multifaceted concept encompassing physical, mental and social aspects. Now that we understand the different aspects of health, let's delve into the determinants of health. Back in 1974, the Honorable Mark Lalonde, a federal minister of health, presented a new perspective on the health of Canadians. He identified four areas that interact to determine health, human biology, environment, lifestyle and healthcare. Human biology encompasses our genetic makeup and any physical or mental health conditions we may have. The environment refers to our physical surroundings including our homes, workplaces, and the general safety of our community. Lifestyle involves our daily habits and behaviors such as diet, exercise, and substance use. Healthcare is about the accessibility and quality of medical services available to us. Since Lalonde's initial concept, this perspective has been broadened significantly. Today we recognize numerous determinants of health including social factors like education, income, and social status. The determinants of health are numerous and interconnected, highlighting the complexity of achieving and maintaining good health. Let's take a closer look at the population health model, a comprehensive approach to understanding health and its determinants. This model considers a myriad of factors, all of which contribute to our overall health. These include our social environment, such as education, social support network, culture, employment, income, and social status. Next, we have the physical environment, which includes factors like housing, working conditions, and the peace and security we experience. Our genetic endowment and gender also play a significant role in our health, as do the health services available to us. Lastly, personal health practices and behaviors, including our coping skills, diet, exercise, and habits like smoking or substance abuse, significantly impact our health. All these factors are interconnected and collectively influence not just individual health but also the health of populations. As we can see, health is a complex, multifaceted concept. It's not just the absence of disease, but a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. All right, we've covered a lot of ground today, from understanding basic health concepts to delving into the determinants of health and the population health model. We hope that you've found this information enlightening and useful. We're dedicated to providing high-quality, informative content to help you stay healthy and informed. If you've enjoyed this video and want to keep learning with us, please hit the subscribe button now to join our community. Your support helps us continue to deliver this crucial content. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Your likes encourage us to continue bringing you more interesting, challenging, and high-quality videos. Thank you for your time and for choosing to educate yourself about these essential topics. Remember, your health is your wealth. Stay healthy, stay informed, and see you in the next video.